Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. Come on, pray. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Good to see you all in the house of God. Jesus. Bless us with this opportunity. Take advantage of it to worship Him today. Praise God. Praise God. Second Corinthians, the eighth chapter, beginning with verse one. Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. For of their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we should receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and to us by the will of God. And so much that we desired Titus that if he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also, or gift. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, in utterance, in knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that you abound in this grace also. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And herein I give my advice, for this is expedient for you who have begun before not only to do, but also to be forward a year ago. In other words, you need to be closer to God than what you were from a year ago. Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which we ye have. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man had, and not according to that he hath not. Praise God. Let's praise Him. God, we love you. God, we praise you for your spirit, God, for each one that's gathered to hear your word today. God, anoint us and use us for thy glory and our hearts and ears to receive your word. We'll praise you for it in Jesus' name. Praise God. And you may be seated. Verse 12 again. He said, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to the, that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. For just a little while this morning, I want to preach to you a willing mind. All right? Yeah. A willing mind. I mean, no, we've got to have to be successful in serving God. We've got to have a mind made up. Yeah, you mean, that's right. We've got to have a willing mind to live for Him. If, if, you, if you drop back and began to uh, study the chapters preceding, uh, before, before these chapters, Paul was writing a letter to the Corinthians, and in a way he was... Uh, uh, kind of lecturing them or, or, or admonishing them that uh, they should come out from among the world and be separate. And he began to say, uh, you know, I know I made you sorry or feel bad because of the letter that I've, I've written you. But he said, then you turned around and you repented of the things that you were doing. And I, he said, I rejoice because of that. He said, not that you were sorry, but that you sorry to repentance. Amen. He said, for godly sorrow worketh repentance. And he went on to, to uh, thank them for the way that they had treated 
uh, Titus and, and, and had accepted Titus and now uh, he, he began to talk about and he said how that in, in verse 2 again how that in great trial of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. He said even though you, you were poor because you had a willing mind and a willing heart, you were able to give unto the work of the Lord. You, you were able to give uh, to what the necessity uh, of the saints. And that, that word liberality means generosity. And he said, even though you might not have had much, you had a willing mind to do something for God. Amen. See, uh, uh, a lot of times when we think in, in giving to God, which which it's necessary that we give of our finances. It's required of God that we give, uh, you know, it, it all belongs to God, but that we give, you know, 10% back, even though that's required, that there's so much, much, much more to it than that. We've got to be willing to give of ourselves unto God. We've got to have a willing mind to give ourselves unto Amen. God, to work for God, to give God our Amen. time. Yes. Amen. Our abilities and our energy unto Him, having a willing mind to do it. Just simply having a willing mind. He began to uh, uh, he began to say in verse five. He said, and this they did not as we held, but first he said, but first gave their own selves to the Lord. Gave, gave their own selves to the Lord. He said they, they, they did this first. To give your own selves to God. I want to ask this question. In 2018, what am I willing to give or what am I willing to do for the Lord? Hmm. What, what a, am I, a year from now, am I going to be forward <laughs> to what I am now? Am I going to be better all to the Lord? Am I going to be closer to Him? Am I, going to be, am I going to still be going through the same old rut right. and the same old routine uh -huh. that Amen. I've been in 2017 with? Amen. Or am I going to have a willing mind to do more for Him? See, see that's, that's the problem. We, we, every one of us in here know what's necessary and know what we need to do to be blessed of God. Yes, sir. Right. But to get to that place where we're blessed of God, we've got to have a willing mind to serve Him. Amen. A willing mind. He said, but first they gave their own self to God. He said in verse 7, Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, in utterance, in knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that you abound in this grace also. He said, I speak not by commandment, but by the occasion of the forwardness of others to prove the sincerity of your love. And then in verse 10, he said, And herein I give my advice, for this is expedient for you, who have begun before, not only to do, but also be forward a year ago. In other words, be forward in yeah. God than you were a year ago. Right. It's a bit, this is expedient, expedient for you who have begun before. So a lot of times we begin, we begin with, with, with great ideas. We, we begin with great enthusiasm. We, we begin with all these things that, that we're going to do in this next year. All these things that we're going to do uh, for God. And all of a sudden, it's the end of 2017. Amen. And then we have to ask ourselves, are we forward from where we were a year ago? Mm -hmm. He said, you, you, you began it. <clears throat> See, if we're not careful, we find ourselves doing the same thing. What's the same, doing the same old thing and expecting better results. Yeah. Doing the same old thing, you know, 
time after time and expecting something different out of it? See, we, we say, God, I'm, I'm going to get close. God, I'm going to be more fun. God, I'm going to pray more. But, but are, we, are we really forward of that from a year ago? See, too many people simply don't have a willing mind or a made-up mind to serve God like they ought to. That's right. Like they ought to. We think of giving and, 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 and most people, most people, it, it, it's an important part that we give our finances, but it's more important that we give our own selves to the Lord first. Amen. Amen. I give myself to the Lord first. All of these other things that are that are necessary, and all these other things that we need to do are going to follow after I give myself to the Lord first. Amen. He said again in verse 12, For if there be first a willing mind, mm -hmm. it is accepted according to that a man hath. So he said, Well, I, I, you know, I can't sing, I, I can't play an instrument. Well, God knows that, and He's not requiring that of you. That's right. Huh? Amen. If there first be a willing mind, it's to say, accept it according to that a man hath. What you've got, He's given you something that you can do for God. That's right. He said, it's accepted according to that a man has, and not according to that he has not. But at first, I've got to have a willing mind. I, I, I found a great example of giving unto the Lord in 1 Chronicles, 29th chapter. He, King David, he... He was fixing to turn the throne over to his son. He knew he didn't have much time left upon this earth. He was turning the throne over to the son. He was he was speaking to the <coughs> congregation that day, and he was in it was in uh, the heart of David to build a temple for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Lord wouldn't allow him to build it because David was a man of war. So 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 it fell on Solomon. Uh, to build that temple, but but David prepared ahead of time for the temple to be built. He said, furthermore, David the king said to unto uh, all the congregation, Solomon, my son, whom alone God had chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for the Lord God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God, the gold for things to be made, and things to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and brass for things of brass, and the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones, the stones to be set, glistering stones, and all diverse colors, and all manner of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance. But here, here's the thing. This is what I, he said, moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God. He said, that's where I've set my affection. That's where I've set my affection, to the house of my God. Now all these precious things, you know, David had to give. He, he was giving, giving out of the abundance that he had of the things that God had blessed him with. He said, I have of my own proper good, of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house. But I want you to take these things and you, you apply it to giving of yourself to the house of God. Giving of yourself to the work of God. Being forward a year from now in God, in worship, 
If we all, there's no telling what God could do and would do among us if we, each one of us began to have a willing mind. God, I will do what you ask me to do. Huh? Amen. He said, I've given to the house of God over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house. He went on to name even 3,000 talents of gold, the gold of Ophar, and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses with all. Gold for things of gold and the silver for things of silver and for all manner of work to be made by the hands of the artificers. But look, look, at, look at this. He asked a question. And who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Who's willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Who, who's willing to give of yourself? Well, what are you willing to do for God in 2018? The problem is, too many of us are caught up in our own selves. Mm -hmm. Hmm? That's right. Oh, yeah. We're, we're all guilty of sometimes and just being a little bit selfish when it comes to giving ourselves to God. Because we got things we want to do. Mm -hmm. And God, when, I, when I've got time, I'll give you a little bit of my time. Who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord? Then the chief of the fathers and the prince of the tribes of Israel, the captains of thousands and of hundreds, with the rulers of the kings, were offered willingly. Offered willingly. Mm -hmm. And gave for the service of the house of God of gold 5,000 talents, 10,000 grams of silver, 10,000 talents. Of brass, 18,000 talents, and 100,000 talents of arm. And they with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of the Lord by the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced for that they offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. He was happy. He was happy. He was happy because the people were willing to give of themselves. They were willing. They done it with a willing mind and a willing heart. Wherefore David blessed the Lord before all the congregation. And David said, Blessed be thou, Lord of God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all and here's here's what it's all about all that is in heaven and in earth is thine if we could ever understand it all belongs to God anyway amen uh, amen what he has blessed us with, what he has given us, it belongs to God, and God can take it any time he wants it if we're not willing to give it. Amen. That's right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, just talking, I'm not just talking about monetary things or, or valuable things. I, I'm talking about talent you might have that yes, you're holding sir. back. You're giving it some other place instead of to God. Amen. He said, For all that is in heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom of the Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come of thee. 
Thou reignest over all, and in thy hand is power and might, and in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. It's all in his hands. Amen. It's all in his hands. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. But who am I and what is my people? Notice what he said. Who am I and what is my people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this storm? For all things come of thee and of thy own have we given thee. Basically what, what David said, man, I, I, I don't know where all this is coming from. I don't know where all these blessings is coming from. But then he, he, he realizes it's because the people were willing. Amen. They had a willing mind. Mm -hmm. And it was accepted out of what they had mm -hmm. and not of what they had, not, you know, didn't have. See, we ponder, too, we ponder too much on the things that we don't have. That's right. We worry over things we don't have. When we ought to be thanking God for what we already have. Thank what He's you. already blessed Thank us you. with. Thank and the more we praise Him for what, all, what He has already blessed us with, the more He will bless us with other things. Amen. Lord, we don't have nothing here but two fishes and five loaves of bread. Bring them to me. Amen. That's what He said. Bring them to me. What, what happened when they brought what little they had unto the Lord? The Bible said he blessed it. Yes, it did. He blessed it. Mm -hmm. He blessed it. When you don't think you have anything to give for God, give what you've got. You, you bring it to Him. What's He going to do with it? Whether, whether it's talent, whether it's energy, whatever the case might be, whether it's, it's monetary value, whatever the case might be, bring it to Jesus and let Him bless it. He'll multiply it. He said, for we are strangers before thee and sojourners, as we all are our fathers. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is none abiding. O Lord our God, all this store that we have prepared to build thee, and the house of thy holy name, cometh of thy hand, and is all thy own. And I know also, my God, that thou triest the heart, and hast pleasure in uprightness. As for me in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things. In the uprightness of my heart, David said, I have willingly offered all these things. And now have I seen with joy thy people which are present here to offer willingly unto thee. Just, just offer willingly. The things of God. Amen. Just for offer, offer willingly yourself to God. Mm -hmm. Just have a willing mind to serve God. Some people are just not willing to serve God because they the, the, they begin to think about the things it might take away from them. Yeah. My, my. Hmm? Might take up some of your time. Isaiah 1 and 18 says this. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I've got, to, I've got to be willing to do the things necessary to be blessed with God. That's right. Amen. If you're willing and obedient, you'll eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. 
But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Mm -hmm. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse 17. It says, Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls, as that they must give an account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. Well, that's unprofitable for you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Richard, what are you talking about? Yeah. I don't care what that preacher said. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. The Bible said that's unprofitable for you. Amen. Amen. Pray for us. For we trust we have good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. Willing. Willing. The willing mind. He said if you first have a willing mind, mm -hmm. then it's accounted unto you for what you have and not what you have to be, what you have not. Not what you have. So what am I willing? What am I really what am I really willing to do for Jesus in 2018? Luke 6 and 38 in closing this morning. Luke 6 and 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down. Shake it together and run it over. I want the blessings of God running over my life. Amen. I want the Spirit of God running over my life. Amen. Shall men give unto your brother? For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Because I was saying, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out. Amen. Amen. Mm. Yeah. The more you put into serving God and worshiping God and praising God, the more you're going to get out of it. He said, he said in Malachi, prove me. Prove me. Prove me. And see if I won't open up the Amen. door to heaven and pour you out a blessing that you can't contain. Let's all stand. Do you have a willing mind? Do you have a bad mind this morning? A lot of people, always, if they're not careful, are going to have good, just good intentions all the way up until the Lord comes and get left behind. Because they're, they never acted on those good intentions. God, I want to have a willing mind to serve you.